know Tom Baker, look to your left and ask the person next to you about him because they probably do. That's what the pastor had to say about the fallen officer, Deputy Tom Baker, who died in the line of duty in Nicholas County Friday night. Hundreds of people came out to pay their respects to him with a candlelight vigil tonight. Good evening and welcome to 13 News Weekend Edition. I'm Mariah Davis. 13 News anchor Amanda Barron was at the vigil in Summersville tonight and learned more about Deputy Baker. She also had a chance to talk to the man who was also shot working alongside him Friday night. Just in the time that I've been here in Summersville today, I've had the chance to talk to so many people, and everyone has a story about Deputy Baker. In fact, I spoke with one woman who told me a story about when he was in middle school or high school and how he waited with her daughter after a sporting practice one night because he didn't want her to wait for her ride alone. He said, she said that he was considerate from the very start and has always been a protector. At tonight's candlelight vigil, more stories, some lighthearted moments that made people laugh. Talking about Deputy Baker, talking about that he was a little stubborn, that he was a man of God, and that even when life took him off the law enforcement path, somehow it brought him back. And the sheriff tonight said when he told him he wanted to come back on the force here in Nicholas County, he was never more excited to give somebody the oath. His friends, family, and neighbors say he was stubborn and funny, but respected people and would do anything for anyone. Deputy Baker just, uh, it, I want to break down every time I talk about him. I mean, he's just, he was one of the most salt of the earth people you've ever met. Uh, Tom was involved in his community for years. He was a lawman here in Nicholas County uh, before, in uh, roughly around 2000. Uh, went to the city of Summersville for a while and then actually went to the private sector. Mm -hmm. um, Tom decided that uh, he just wanted to serve his community again and came back about two to three years ago to Nicholas County as a deputy uh, and did an excellent job. And, and Tom and I always joke, because I saw him quite often, and I always joke that he always had the cleanest police cruiser in the county. Uh, state, county, city, didn't matter. Tom had him beat. He was one of the kindest persons I know and one of the bravest for sure. And he always made a joke out of everything and you never seen him not smiling. He always had the biggest smile on his face. Also at the vigil tonight and at the procession today was the man working with Deputy Baker. He was also shot in the leg that night, but at the vigil tonight, standing, paying his respects to the man he was working alongside. Tonight I had the chance to ask him how he's doing. What I can't say about Tom is he came back to work for us in the past couple of years. I was never as more excited to hire him back. Just an outstanding person, an outstanding Christian, an outstanding police officer. One of the best. He's one of the ones you can hand stuff to. During tonight's ceremony, the sheriff asked everyone to continue to pray not only for Baker and Ellison's family, but also for Baker's children and for the colleagues Deputy Baker leaves behind. He told everybody that in the hours after his death, the men and women had a choice to go back to work and they got right back on the road wanting to serve and protect Nicholas County. The funeral will be held Wednesday and the sheriff said this department will continue to need those prayers through that difficult day. Reporting in Somersville, Amanda Barron, 13 News. The procession for Deputy Baker started in South Charleston around 2.30 this afternoon, coming from Thomas Memorial Hospital. There was a long line of first responders escorting him in cars, on motorcycles, and in ambulances. He was taken to the Waters Funeral Home in Somersville, where he is from and where he will be buried. 13 News reporter